hello and welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, Look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you, rational, emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace.
Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. <sighs> Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ugh! Where's my phone? Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope, no sign of him. Weird, he isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Uh. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John. You're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. He could just as easily have banged his head and walked off the other way. Fine. You can stay right here. I'll go myself. Hey, Professor! He is a professor, right? I'm still fuzzy. Can we stick together? I don't want to wait on my own. I guess he's right. We should all stick together. I got no signal either. Must be some kind of black spot. Or you didn't pay your last bill. You get that during the crash? I guess so.
crawled up the professor's ass. I think you should show him a little more respect. He thinks he's smarter than us, but book smart is no good out here. He's all up himself, acting like the big man on... You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books. Unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. He's getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? I already said I want to wait at the bus for help, not head into town like John wants. And we've already concluded this conversation. Not with everyone here, we didn't. We should vote on it. No need for a vote. Decisions made. You scared you'll lose? There's not gonna be a vote. I'm sorry, but we really don't have time to be arguing. You'll stay here with me, won't you? Uh... Looks like he ain't so keen after all. If you got something to say to me, spit it out. John's right. Heading into town is our quickest way to find help. Satisfied? Sure. Whatever you say. Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? I'm still not sure heading into town is such a great idea. I'm going to hang out by the bus while you all do whatever you have to. You want to come along and wait with me? Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa! Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. What? I walked away from you! 
you. We're trapped here. There's no way out. I, I just don't understand. She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay, what do we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. 